Hello friends, welcome to a new video on Enterprise Architect 15. In this video, I'll be covering how to auto-generate unit test using Enterprise Architect 15. So you'll be thinking what is what does this do or what does it help? So basically we are generating source code. So that we have explained in the previous video how to generate your source code from the class diagram. Now we are doing a transformation on the source class diagram to generate the unit test class diagram and then in turn generate the uh, unit test code itself. So and the complete end to end you will be able to generate even the unit test code from your class diagram itself. So how does it help? It helps in faster development and uh, easy modifications and uh, go, it adds good amount of traceability because you have the class diagram for the even for the unit test case. So let's go through how to do this uh, auto generation part of uh, unit tests in uh, in enterprise architect 15. So I've basically created a test project. So to add the start doing the project you have to add a uh, modeling wizard. So once the modeling wizard uh, you have to select a starter class diagram or any of the class diagram. So we eat uh, once we eat the uh, class diagram, the class diagram uh, class would be created. So basically, I want to use a example. So let me delete of uh, class uh, A and B and create our own class. So to start off with that, we'll uh, take the example of simple example of student so that everybody gets it. And uh, student uh, will add uh, one more uh, com composition of. Uh, address uh, class so to add the uh, this thing what is the uh, whether it is an uh, uh, aggregation or in composition it will be in composition to whole but because each student will contain an address so that is the link between student and address so now let's start uh, adding uh, students uh, properties So you have to go to the to add attributes window that is how you open the attributes. So what does the student uh, contain will add a role number or will add member variable. Role number this will be of type ok we will keep it in and the member variable say something called grade. This will make it as uh, type will be of character like a b c d and we'll keep it as uh, scope as private so now to add the operations uh, we'll add the getter and uh, setter functions uh, get uh, roll number and uh, get uh, grade And we'll add a setter function set roll number and similarly add set. Uh, so basically, I'm adding here below uh, get uh, set. Uh, we have added this set grade. So that is done. So let's keep the simple, let's keep the return parameters as uh, void. But uh, for uh, getter for function setter functions will keep it void. This will uh, get grade should uh, return us um, an integer, and no, this is get grade should return a character because we are doing, and this should return get roll number should return int, and set uh, grade should return. let's keep it white for now or you can keep a uh, bool whether it's true or false but uh, parameters now you can uh, set uh, parameters uh, you can say grade grade which is of type 
chair and the direction is in that is simple next one more thing is uh, roll number and that is int okay perfect now everything is okay sorry two parameters got added to the same thing so we'll just delete this Okay, it's not allowing to delete we have to add again uh, if you make any mistake i think we have to add uh, we missed the set great that parameters will add grade is g r a d type That's it. We have to come out and here no set roll number. We have to add roll number in perfect. Everything is proper. So we have done the class diagram for the student part. You can see here student member variables of grade and roll number. So char and it and setter and getter function. Now we'll keep the address class uh, simple. We'll uh, we'll add a set. Uh, we can add attributes such as door number and we'll keep it member variable door number int and uh, member variable pin maybe pin code so int int uh, that is also done so operations we can do set uh, door number set uh, pin so setter functions let me make this here say pin and type of Int okay, that's perfect. Set door number that is also of say do number that's also perfect. Now we'll add get uh, maybe get uh, door number return type will be int and get pin code that will also be int so we kept uh, all the scope is public uh, this thing even in, uh, in our student class also i think we have kept everything public so this we can close and we'll concentrate on our class diagram now many to one you can change uh, the relations everything in the properties have shown related to this in the previous video now we have generated our uh, class diagram so to we can generate the code based on uh, this thing to do that we have to just go uh, and uh, generate the code as i have shown in the previous video you can go to development here generate and uh, generate it but here is a one more additional step if you want to generate the uh, uh, unit test also so to do that we have to go to transform so ah, here tools and tools and uh, in the design part you have to go to the transform so you have to do an apply transform so apply transform of both student and this thing you can search now j unit because we'll generate java code so we are we are writing j unit and select all and hit do transform done we have now generated the unit test class diagrams also you can see here unit test you can see started diagram inside that we have generated address.test and student.test 
so to see that class diagram it will be like this j unit framework test case now very simple thing is to go and now simply generate the complete code you have to go generate and hit generate all if you would have generated before uh, then it won't uh, generate uh, all the things so you can hit uh, auto generate files you have to give the root directory so let me give the root directory as uh, now this thing where it has to generate so it will be uh, unit test auto generated code you can give complete directory outside also so that you generate the complete code let's go through the complete code So let's start, uh, first generate this thing select all generate so it has uh, generated uh, now the unit test code now again we'll uh, select the starter class diagram okay now address and student we have selected and hit generate now we have generated the complete code now let's you can see the starter it has generated all our four classes student and address and with the, even the test cases so now let's go through the code so this is our address uh, address test which has got generated see you can see everything has got uh, uh, generated by itself with uh, all the functions and this thing set up and tear down also is generated and for each of the uh, this thing also even the test code uh, what all things to be tested you can add so you can start adding test code whether it's a valid number those things if you have tested in the your uh, normal class in your student uh, class you can check that thing here so student.java see you can see everything is generated properly with the proper formatting everything student with the private members uh, and uh, and uh, it's uh, setter and getter functions everything has been generated you have to just write the logic and start implementing the uh, even the code so let me open even the student test so this also it has generated you can see student test what all things main setup everything everything with proper formatting it has developed you have to just now start writing the logic uh, logic to it so now i think this way this has helped you a lot uh, by generating both the test code and the uh, normal class diagram so this is how you create the class diagram and you can auto generate and go to uh, this cla uh, these classes which has all the these methods you can see st set up set down and all the test cases for this for all the member functions which are you are there then you you automatically generate the complete code so you'll get all the all the classes here so hope uh, this helps you in uh, development it is uh, very helpful uh, if you if you're doing even bridge big projects you can uh, automatically generate everything so hope this helps so subscribe to my channel if you want more details on enterprise architect 15